Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Autismo for Part 28. And the reason why I said Gran Autismo is because I'm a fucking retard and I wasn't recording. So, yay. Well, uh, here the fuck we go again. So, pretty much. Uh, we're going to the Pan Euro Championship in this segment. I already did the first race. And then I realized I wasn't recording this entire time, so yay, I gotta do this all over again. But for this one, I went to Roof, went to Class 6, and I bought the Roof BTR. And all I put on it was NOS and a limited slip diff, so. Yay, I could do this all over again. So, Pan Euro Championship stuff, things. Five races. I already did the first one, like I said. But I gotta redo it again, so woo. Anyways, uh. Yeah, we got Opera Paris, Grand Valley, Lasarth. Is this with or without chicanes? It's with the chicanes, alright. Uh, Monaco, and the Norborg Rorg. So here the fuck we go. Okay, this is a completely different field than the last race I did. So pretty much in the last race, there was a SLR McLaren, but I beat it by a solid amount, but whatever. Uh, new field, I'm going to practice again, see where I end up, and this might actually be more interesting than the previous attempt, so let's just see. All right, secured the pole by about five seconds. The previous attempt was about six and a half seconds, but there we go. Um... One thing I'm going to mention before I get started is that I disabled RTX voice, so you'll be hearing pedal and steering wheel noises, but since I'm not doing rallies anymore, it kind of, like, it's not as important, but it was just fucking up my voice way too much, so, yeah. I'm going to have to roll with this until I figure out something better, but here we go with the Pan Euro Championship, 172 A-Spec points. Last attempt, it was about 155 against an SLR McLaren, but yeah, here we go. Also, the Elise took over the Jag even before the race started, so that was funny. The uh, rolling start on this track has always been fucked up. Basically, whoever starts in second place ends up in third place before the race even starts. I guess it's just because, like, how the cars are positioned wherever it starts or some shit. I don't know. But here we go. I'm already used to driving this thing because of the failed attempt, but whatever. So, uh, one thing I was talking about was, uh... This is gonna be one of the last few videos I record on my current setup. Because, uh, I already mentioned in a couple videos ago, I'm building my, uh, racing sim rig... I went and bought all the materials I need for it yesterday. The seat and rails are coming in, are coming by UPS to, today, not tomorrow, what the fuck. And, uh, yeah. I also ordered a monitor. Uh, I got a 1440p, 144Hz, 27-inch, 1 millisecond response time HDR curved monitor. That was a mouthful, but yeah. So it should be pretty sweet. I still don't know if I'm going to record doing it, because that's kind of a hassle. Trying to document building something, and then having to edit it, and then post it, and shit. Where we, I just want to get the damn thing built. I will be taking pictures of it, so there will be that at least, and I'll probably show the finished product on video. But that's pretty much where that's at right now, and the Tuscan Speed 6 has taken second place. Okay... Apparently the Tuscan is faster than the next J220. That's uh, quite surprising. Also, I'm kind of walking away with this. I was not expecting high A spec points and this much domination. Okay. But uh, there is a, uh, a sacrifice to be made with the car I chose for the fact that it likes to get loose a lot. Only thing is, it came with uh, sports softs, and I've learned how to drive it, and it has a limited slip diff on, so less likely to spin out. 
but it probably will be a lot more uh, shit uh, easy to spin out on other tracks like Lasarth or uh, the Nordschleife. But yeah, depending on the track, I'm probably not gonna qualify for it. Probably, I'll probably qualify for Monaco, but not a uh, Grand Valley or uh, Lasarth or Nordschleife, the other races. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the dilly do for the next few weeks, as far as like the setup goes. I haven't even shown my current setup. Well. Actually, I have, technically. It's just my wheel and pedals at my desk. I have the pedals sitting on top of a box to get them to the right height. And that's pretty much the only change I've made. And it's working out pretty well so far, but it could be better. And I kind of want to get my desk space back, because my wheel's just been sitting on the desk because of the cables and shit. I don't like having to move them every time I don't want to play, so. That's pretty much that. Also, uh, this thing looks fucking beautiful, so there's that too. I was thinking about this, or holy shit, that was close. Uh, the SLR McLaren. Because the thing with the SLR is, on the final driving mission, that's what you're using around the Norch life, and... It would have been pretty good to buy it and get a ton of practice on the Nurburgring with it before I do that driving mission, just so it makes the mission itself a lot less of a pain in the ass, having to wait two minutes for every attempt and shit, so. There's that. Um, also, like, in relation to the 1440p monitor that I said I ordered, that means the videos will be coming out in 1440p as well. So that should fix all the quality issues I've been having because I've been recording and rendering at a 40,000 bitrate, 1080p, 60fps. And the video quality still turns out garbage because of YouTube compression, especially on the rally videos. There's a something strange with the, with the road texture on the dirt courses where it's kind of like, there's like an offset blur to it kind of thing. And that just makes the pixels go absolutely insane in the recording. Even at a high bit rate, it looks like ass. And once you compress that, it just multiplies the assiness of it. So, yeah. Also, uh, PCSX2 does not have anti-aliasing. So, the anti- or, like, the jagged edges and shit look pretty hideous on a 1080p monitor, so... Hopefully the 1440 smooths things out a little bit more. However, the monitor itself is bigger, so the pixels are gonna be bigger because of that, and... Well, yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, that was close. Anyways, uh, yeah, this race is taking quite a while. Six laps around Opera Paris. Not in the touring car this time. Which, by the way, uh, I put 520 miles on that Audi A4 touring car, I think. I did the championship like eight or nine times. And you saw I had just about 11 million credits. So that's perfect amount for when those uh, special cars show up in the showroom. Plus some left over. Because I'm probably going to have to buy some cars here and there for these uh, European events. So, yeah, that's probably enough rambling. Then again, I have to keep talking so the video is not too boring. I can only commentate on a race at that point. And there's really not much going on. Even though this is crazy high A spec points. Uh, I'm still walking away with the competition, so. Yay. Also, the Tuscan Speed 6 is still in second place after all this time. 
I don't know what the fuck happened to the XJ220. Or even the Pagani C12 at that point. Rear tires seem to be taking a lot more rare, yes, wear than the front. See if I could best my uh, current best lap for the final. A little bit sloppy around the bus stop, but not too much harm done. Want to take it smooth around here? A little bit of counter steer. Smack the wall. Back on the NOS for the final time down the straightaway. Let's just hope I don't screw this up. There we go. And it break before the crosswalk because that's where the bump is. And that's still way too late. Well, rip car. And probably rip my time too. This NOS just packs a huge punch on this thing. Anyways, around the final turn, back on the NOS, and there we go, best lap, 172 points, against the Tuscan Speed 6, that got second place over a Jag XJ220. On the faster tracks, it's obvious that the Jag is going to be the dominator in it, but, yee. Well, first race down, five to go, no, four to go, 12k credits, and then we move on to Grand Valley. All right, since this is a standing start, I'm not going to qualify for this one, but uh, let's see what happens. I don't have practice on this track with this car, nor with uh, standing start, so let's just try to avoid wheel spin as much as I can, which I did perfectly. Get around the Aston. Oh, he's gonna push me into the grass, I'm pretty sure. Oh, emulator slowing down just a tad. Also, I need to fix the color settings because I was kind of messing with them. And everything probably has a blue tint to it. Maybe I could fix that in post, I don't know. But I'll have to remember that before the next race starts. Actually, the next race is gonna be at Lasarth. So it might be good to actually keep it the way it is. Because my whole goal with, like, adjusting the color settings was to stop making the Nürburgring look like a boring, dull, brown place. That's pretty much where I was going with that. Also, that, that XJ is going to give me issues, probably, on the Sarth. I might have to qualify on that track, just to start a few positions ahead. At least. Uh, this thing just keeps wanting to, keeps wanting to bump into me. Keeps wanting, what the fuck? I didn't even know what I was trying to say right there. Smack. Good old Pagani Zonda. Look at this sexy beast. Until it gets all smashed up. Also, the f goddamn Speed 6 is pulling away again. Oh, that's not a Speed 6, it's a fucking Elise. I'm an idiot. Okay, got a little loose right there. Elise is clearly dominating the corners because of downforce and lightweightness. I was thinking about getting it, but then I realized if I get the the BTR, I can do the Boxer Spirit event and the uh, the professional events a lot more easily. Because that's basically Subarus and roofs. Anything with a boxer engine. So as far as top speed goes, I should be fine on the Sarth and the Nürburgring. Okay, a little bit loose. Oh, no. Fuck. Well, uh, that happened, and I'm clearly not going to win this race. 
So, rip. Natalise is just gonna keep pulling away at this... Whoa, fuck. All right, uh, that was a pass. The pass of all passes. I'm gonna have to be careful on turn one because that was terrible. I just felt the car getting loose and I was like, well, shit, I'm going into the grass and then I will be 50 feet into the gravel. Nothing I can do about it. The approach to turn one is just ridiculous. Well. Depends on if you consider the approach turn, turn one, or the hairpin turn one, but whatever. There's no official turn numbers on these tracks. And I also already used half my NOS before the second lap is already done, so... Saving it for the front straight only. already like made up most of my ground again on the Elise so who knows maybe I'll actually catch up to him we shall see really nervous about taking that flat out but yeet All right, five and a half seconds behind right now. We'll see where we end up at the next lap. Getting loose again. Oh, Jesus. Kept it on the road, at least. Oh, that's almost impossible. Small nitrous boost right there. Oh, this is not a good approach. Not a good approach. Ah, God damn it. Well, uh, yeah, this is proving to be a blip, a blip more challenging, yes, a little bit more challenging than the previous race. About to the halfway point, no 7.8 seconds behind, that was my phone that just went off on my Bluetooth speaker, so that was cool. Well, I did kiss the wall there, actually. This thing is a little bit tricky to drive, but not as best as I thought it would be, at least. I'm just going to take it really easy at turn one from now on. Yeah, I may lose a few seconds due to, like, driving slower, but... At least I'll control it. This would be a really great episode for wheel cam. Don't know why I didn't think about doing it, but eh. Maybe I'll get a permanent wheel cam set up whenever I get the sim rig built. It'll be a little bit more cool anyways. Well, last lap was five and a half seconds, I think. Shot of nitrous right here. Yep, eight seconds behind at this point. At least it's just gonna keep pulling away from me. Okay, kept it straight. Shit, I almost lost it again. That was sketchy. Well, let's see if there's any chance, even like remotely catching up now I nailed that section. Here's the time split up here. God damn it, phone, shut up. Seven seconds, all right. I gained about eight tenths of a second during that whole section, but nowhere near enough to catch up before the end of the race, so. Rip. That means I have to come back here and gold this race, so. 
That's how I'm going to handle second place finishes in the championships. Instead of redoing it. Back to the bridge. Rear tires are in the yellow now, but should still be fine. Maintain seven seconds, so... Okay, I don't want the curb. That's... That's not good. If this was GT3, it'd be a completely different story. Onto the concrete again. Uh, on the NOS. Let's see how many seconds I'm behind now. Yeah, it's still seven and a half. Let's see if I can keep it under control. Whoa, the lease actually went into the gravel. And I saved it. No, I didn't. Fuck. Little shot right here. Eh, I'm still way behind. Imagine if I actually regained the lead because he at least fucked up. That'd be hilarious. Then again, shenanigans like that tend to happen in this game. Because the AI suck. He went into the dirt again! This can't be happening. Is he actually. Oh my god. His tires are spanked. Oh, what? Buddy, are you okay? Don't tell me this is about to happen. Holy shit, that thing out accelerates me quite a bit. He's going into the dirt again. Oh my god. I have re... Well... I've just taken the lead. I haven't regained it this entire race, but yeah. His tires are fucked on the final lap. Who would have fucking known? Probably the downforce that killed his grip. He's probably going to lose it on the final turn. Oh, no. Going a little wide. He has better handling than I do. Maintain the inside lane. Get on the NOS for a quick shot. Seizure time. Yeah, a little loose. NOS. And it looks like I've secured the fucking victory somehow. Uh -uh, no, you're not. <laughs> well then. Unexpected win. Yeah. Now we're both going wide. He at least just wanted to start screwing it all up on the final lap and lost a seven second lead. And he out, out accelerates me too. Well, shit, that was a that was quite an exciting race actually up until the final lap. Twelve thousand credits. Time for race number three at Lissarth. All right, uh, it's gonna, well, actually, no. If I do a qualifying session, it's gonna last as long as the race itself, because I have to do two laps, technically, so. Yeah, uh, not doing that. Uh, just gonna go ahead and get started with the Elise starting up front. This is gonna probably be one of the more interesting races. This one in the Nordschleife. So. Here we go. So, uh, judging by the last race, the Elise is better than me at handling and acceleration, so... The XJ220 is probably going to dominate this. But one thing's for sure, I want to keep as close to the lead as possible. And, uh, get a slipstream off whoever I can but most importantly I want to keep this thing on the damn track 
which might prove to be a little difficult. Uh, especially if I do that. Fuck. Oh, God. Eh, loose again. I need my tires to warm up ASAP. Man, the Elise is already on Mulsan. Six seconds behind. See how much that tra changes. Yes. Let's see how much that changes by the Mulsan Cornel. Cornel. What the fuck just came about? I think my brain is short-circuiting right now. That, did you hear how many times I fucked up in those sentences? Yeah. Also, a Speed 6 is going 185 miles an hour down the Mulsanne. A Speed 6. That thing is 100% upgraded. That's a load of bullshit. I gotta use a NOS to stay on the slipstream. At least a little bit of a burst. But yeah, I've already... I already see the Elise ahead of me, so... Gained a couple seconds right there. A little bit early on the brakes the first time. Man, I'm working the wheel a lot right now. Just trying to keep this thing straight. The Zonda out accelerates me, so I'm just gonna hang in the slipstream. Save the NOS for wherever I need it. Molson Corner is gonna be tricky. The Zonda braked a little bit too early on the last one, so I'll... Oh, the bumps got me a little bit loose right there, but I seem to have braked at somewhat perfect time. Gonna use the burst of NOS right here. Indianapolis is gonna be extremely tricky with the elevation change and a turn on the approach to the corner. It's gonna get me loose 100%, I'm calling it. Question is, can I keep it under control? Seems to do a decent job at it. But it kind of screwed up my approach a little bit. Oh, hello. XJ just bashed his way around the lease. Alright. Okay, he accelerates way quickly. Or way quicker, whatever. A couple bursts of NOS will keep me in the slipstream at least. Oh, he hit top speed. Okay. Well, uh, gotta not fuck up the Porsche curves now. I'm only used to driving this track in, uh, Le Mans prototypes or Group C cars so far, so... It's been a while since I've done a production car, let alone a rear-engine production car. Like a roof. Anyways, I've made my way back up to the Jag. The Elise is pulling up on me right now, approaching Fort Chicane. And, oh my god, that was sketchy. Let's keep it on, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. Cut the chicane a little bit too much there, but whatever. These guys are all over the place. I'm so surprised that the Elise is out accelerating the Jag. Don't get loose, don't get loose, getting loose anyways. The Elise is already going wide, what the fuck is happening to you, my guy? Tiny boost of NOS right there. Oh no, I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it! Oh, thanks for the boost, Sonda. Well, fuck. That's, uh, not good. I'm going to have to use probably the rest of my NOS right here just to get back up to slipstream range. Uh, don't... Uh, okay, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. 
Well, uh... Because I'm kind of way out of slipstream range at this point, um... I'm pretty much screwed whenever it comes to catching back up to them until I get back to the Ford Chicane and Porsche Curves. Shit. I had a terrible approach. Well, uh, cut to the chicane like a cheater. Well, this is gonna have to be another miracle race if I have any hope at it. Get a good look at this ass. Well, at least I can take advantage of the Pagani slipstream now. Oh, okay, I punted him. Elise is already going into the gravel. Okay, bud. Damn, I'm already five seconds behind the Jag. Yeah, I don't think a, a victory is going to happen. And no, I'm not cutting through the Ford Chicane. If I did, I probably would still have a chance at winning, but I'm not doing that. That's not legitness. Okay, yep, I lose it again. Saved it a little bit, I guess. I don't fucking know. Yep, now out of slipstream range for the Pagani. For now, at least. I'll save my last burst out of uh, Arnage. Or after the Porsche curves. Also, who the fuck is way back in sixth place? Oh, it's that uh, Mercedes thing, that's right. The SL whatever. Oh, nope. Uh, keep going. Keep. Oh, fuck. Well, uh, talk about a failure of a race. Jesus. This Speed 6 is 100% speed upgraded. Don't lose a slipstream. Mmm. Yep, I lost a slipstream. Son of a bitch. I could have easily had second place if I just didn't fuck up so much. And there I go wide again. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Well, uh, fuck. At least the Jag is taking second or first place in this race. It doesn't have as many points as the Elise. Holy shit, the Elise fucked up again. Buddy! Ah, uh, now I'm fucking up. Well, that happened. I was just about to beat the Elise again, but... <laughs> no. Unless he completely screws up up here, then GG's. Well, uh, that was a tremendous failure. Big rip. But as far as points go, I'm still in pretty good standing. I just have to not fuck up Monaco. And according to how I did it at Opera Paris, that shouldn't be too big of an issue. The Jag is down second place with 18 points. It's not going to do good at Monaco, so I'm not worried about that at least. My concern is the Nürburgring, because there's two laps around there. So, fuck. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a fifth place award on this game. And it's a fucking keychain. Okay. But, uh, right. Well, on to race number four at Monaco. I'm going to do a practice run on this one, but... Let's just see where we end up. Alright, well, uh, I kind of secured a six and a half second pole against the Elise. And the Elise started up front, so he wasn't trying to overtake anyone during his run, but here we go. Monaco for six laps. And it looks like the Jag is gonna 
finish a few places behind. As long as he at least doesn't fuck up. So, here we go. Cold tires, so it's... Gonna be kind of sketchy at the start. Just gotta make sure the Elise doesn't pass me. Ever. Already going wide. Okay. Pretty much if I win this one, then I'm pretty much like a... Pretty much, yeah, I'm pretty much... I pretty much... I said it again! Fuck! I secure the victory of the championship if I win this. There we fucking go. Also, where did the Elise go? Just go? Yes, where did the Elise just go? Okay, you were right on my ass at one point. Now you're way back there. This is the spot where I can't fuck up. Ever. I'm on the brakes way too early, but I'd rather be earlier than late. Had a NOS right there just to get out of the low RPM range. Oh, uh, almost turned in too early right there. Corrected myself. Guess that's just a, uh, gonna help. I hate my words. I hate my words. I hate my words. I hate my words. That's just gonna be the way I drive through this whole race. A little tad of nos wherever my RPMs are low. Just to get it back into the turbo boost. Or the power band, whatever. Gotta remember to be patient with my throttle input going out of turns. All right, tad a nos right here. Huge gap just widened. Seems like the Pagani has fallen back a lot. Back towards the Aston. And I said Mercedes in the last race, but I'm a retard. It's actually an Aston. Or at least I think that's the Pagani. Because he did start in fifth. Alright, kept that under control. Barely. A little bit late on the brakes, but I suck at this track anyway, so whatever. Oh, fuck. Turned in too early. A little bit of recovery, Nas. Just gotta maintain my lead and not fuck up. And unfortunately, in this race, there's no grass or gravel patches, so if the Elise fucks up, he won't be losing anywhere near as much time. Would have handled that perfectly if I didn't kiss the wall right there. Still maintaining a consistent lead. On the brakes just a tad later this time. That was perfect. This was not so perfect. 
A little bit of wheel spin. See if I could hit this better. There we go. Not much commentating going on, but man. Also, new lap record by two seconds. Yep, turned into early. Now I've got a six second lead over the Elise. Let's just see if I can keep this going. Because with all the money grinding I've been doing in the German Touring Car Championship, I'm a lot more familiar with Opera Paris in this track. And Opera's the only other one I dominated so far. Yep, got on the throttle too early. Alright, starting to pull away from the Elise a lot more now. Either he's fucking up or I'm doing better. Best chicane section so far yet. So far yet, nice. Okay, no rumble strips. No rumble strips. And... Ooh, didn't kiss the wall there. Nice. Really starting to get the hang of this car now. Just let off the throttle to initiate rotation. Get on the throttle to start going straight. Like every car ever. Herpty derp. That was a beautiful turn one. This is going to be a decently long video. So, woo. Just wait till the Thousand Miles series. Four endurance races in a row for a championship in slow ass cars. Which I still don't know what car I want to use for that cha ch championship. I could either use like a pre-70s muscle car. Like a Plymouth Super, Dodge Charger, Mercury Cougar, Hemikuda, stuff like that. Or I could go something similar to the competition like a Genetta G4 or... A Jag E type might be a little bit too OP, but would be a solid choice. It all depends if that bastardly fucking Cobra's in that series. Or the AC 427, because we have to put the British version of the Shelby Cobra in this game. <laughs> also, 10.8 second lead now. I'm in pretty damn good shape approaching the final lap. A little bit rough through the final chicane, but meh. Okie dokie. Lap number six here at Monacunt. Next race is going to be by far the longest. It's two laps around the Norge life, which... Cool. And I'm probably going to fuck up. Insanely. But... I think the Elise is going to probably finish 5th or 6th. Because two long laps, it's definitely going to lose a lot of its uh, tire wear. Probably like halfway through the second lap. Wall. Oh, that's an OS button. On the brakes. A yep, little too late. Wall. Wall.
Well, at least it's not a big deal. And there we go. I think the Elise actually gained a little bit of ground on me in that lap, but meh. Bleh. And finally, across the line. Whole two seconds worse than my best lap, but meh. Jack Vigish in fourth, so that means that the Elise is now in second place, as far as the point standings go. So, ye. Another 12,000 credits right there, and then we move on to the final race at the Norborg Rorg for two whole laps. Oh, and hey, I've secured the championship victory too, because nobody has a 22 points or more. But I gotta do all the races, so, meh. Alright, here we go with the final race at the Nuremberg Ring. Expect minimal commentary because, yeah, I've been talking a lot this episode so far. And even though I don't have to do this race to win the championship, I've got to do it anyways as far as the completion of the game goes, so, yee. And I'm gonna go back and win the, uh, the Sarth race after this is done too, so here we go. Two laps around the Norchlifa in a fucking roof. This is gonna be very interesting. That at least is probably gonna dominate lap one unless it wants to fuck up halfway through lap one. Also, thanks, Aston, for the little assist there. Oh, all the bumpiness is just going to make this so much worse. Oh, boy. It's going to upset the car a lot. My prediction, fifth place or last place? Probably fifth. Also, I do not know how fast I can take these high-speed corners. Don't know at all. Eh, definitely slower than that. Shit. Get on the road, get on the road. On the NOS, get in the slipstream. Okay, Elise. Hello. Goodbye. Well, I know who's finishing finish finicking last now, yes. Oh fuck. Well, uh, Elise is going to be one of the main cars of the series, I can tell. TBR is still pulling away from me. Yeah, that's that thing's 100% tuned. Uh, uh, we're all losing it. <laughs> Fuck, even the TBR was starting to lose it. Yep, there goes the Elise. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. Three cars I can't handle this track. XJ220 is starting to pull away. I gotta take it easy around here, not fast, because if I take it fast, then I lose even more time than I gain. Wait, that made zero sense! That's grass! I don't know why my car is so addicted to grass on this track. And there we go again. Still losing it. At least I didn't fully spin out. That would have been the end of the race for me as I know it. As far as like having any shot at podium. Son of a bitch. Can I control this thing, damn it? How the fuck did I gain time on the XJ after all that? The fuck? 
I think he must be screwing up too. Oh, that already just sucks at cornering. That thing should be long gone by now. Like, I don't know what's up with it. Little bit of a love tap. I'm getting loose again. Okay, TBR, what the fuck are you doing? He was just riding the wall for a solid four seconds. Even with all these fuck-ups, I'm not losing too much time on the Jag. Which is very surprising. Here comes the worst corner on the track. How fast do I need to take this? Or how slow, rather. Oh, well. Okay, kept it straight. There we go. At least I survived it. Fuck. Uh, I'm not gonna survive this, so... Nope. Okay. Saved it. Man, I should have really done wheel cam for this episode. Would have made it a lot more entertaining. Hey, you slowed down way too much for the carousel. Alright, I wonder if I could actually get around him. Uh, more grass! Get out! Okay. Even though I slammed the wall there, kept it straight again. I just gotta not touch the grass. It's simple. If you touch the grass, then you're fucked. Uh, I'm getting loose again because of the fucking bumps in the road. Unsettling the car way too much. This is rough. Hey, get it? This is rough. I'm sorry, bad jokes. Oh, Tuscan's starting to catch up to me a little bit. I'm gonna lose a lot of ground on the straightaway to the Jag. And now he's eight seconds ahead of me. Well, pretty much nine. Oh, that was more grass. Stop going in the grass, you fucking retarded fuck. Okay, that was a full fuck up. Oh, hello, Elise. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you, Speed6, for cock-blocking him. Well, uh, n not a snowball's chance in hell I'm catching back up to the Jag or the Pagani. Eight 18 seconds behind now. About to be more whenever I spin out up here! Eh. <laughs> there goes the Elise again. Holy shit. How do you screw up that bad? <laughs> Oh, that thing's a meme car. It has to be. I may fucking put him at the thumbnail. Just spinning out. All right, big burst of us right there. It's pretty clear I'm probably not gonna get first place or second. Maybe podium, though. Also, who knows? Some crazy shit's been happening this entire series, so maybe they'll both fuck up. I don't know. Considering we've got another long lap here, as far as, like, tire wear is concerned. A little bit loose right there. Oh, uh, yep. Getting loose. And there we go. This thing is just not really stable at high speeds. Alright, that lap was an 8.5. Let's see what I can do this time. I'm 
sliding through that corner. Also, we'll see what my uh, tire wear does, too. Because I'm starting this lap on yellow rears, so it's probably going to reach the reds. If I were to take a wild guess, it's going to reach red about a mile or so past the carousel. Once they start turning orange, that's when it gets, like, kind of sketchy. But if they go full red, then it makes the car pretty much undrivable. Oh, I caught a lot of air right there. Keeping it on the track this time, though. Saving the rest of the NOS for the final straight. Back end's already starting to get loose. Even though it's only in the yellow, it's still pretty good tire wear. And... Yep, I fucked up. Hey, look at that recovery. Perfect. 23 seconds behind, so the Jag is still pulling away. I think the TVR is behind me, because he at least probably fucked up at that same corner again. And it's going to fuck up here, too. Just like last lap. Probably worse now with the tire wear. I guess the AI just suck with that car. Okay. This uneven tire wear is kind of screwing everything up. I have a feeling the Speed 6 is going to pass me again. Wait, no. The Speed 6 is in front of me. The behind me is the Aston. A little bit of grass right there. I'm getting loose at every single corner now because of the uneven tire wear. Front tires have more grip than the rear. Oh, fuck. There I go again. Same spot. Well, I can kiss uh, first place goodbye. Probably even the podium, too. Maybe even fourth place, too, because my tires are probably going to wear out too much. Also, I don't know what car I'm going to use to get gold on both these races, so... Yay. Not really much else to say until I fuck up again. Hello, grass. Slow down extra there just for safe measure. 26 point or not points 26 seconds behind the jag now Just got to count on one of them fucking up insanely Oh my tires are starting to go into the tans and it'll very quickly go into the orange and the red. Yep. I'm losing more grip. Losing more grip. And the more grip I lose, the more and more I'm going to lose exponentially because I'm losing grip. Then my wheels spin more and I lose even more grip. Oh, fuck. 
Well, my mistake there was braking when I was getting loose, putting all the weight in the front tires. Well, fuck. Here it goes, boys. Probably gonna lose fourth place. I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of this lap. Because this is bad. Still several seconds in front of the Aston Martin. Shit. Shit, man. Oh my god, I can't get these keep this thing straight. Eh. Oh, the Aston's almost back up to me. It's gonna be close. Yep, never mind. It's not gonna be close anymore, because this is where I lose it all. Maybe. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god! Yes, I saved it! But saved it a little too late. Son of a bitch. Man, this is a fucking load. Okay, I'm just gonna ride the wall. Oh, tires are now in the reds officially. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Yes, saved it. Good thing I saved the last bit of that NOS. I am approaching the... Oh my god, this thing is... The car's swerving... At this speed, because I have zero grip on the rear now. There's no, there's no way in hell. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck it, go through the grass! Yep, it's... I lost it. It's over. Well, talk about a catastrophic fail. Also, wheel spin. <laughs> okay, go down to past 1,000 RPMs. Cool. Yeah, this thing's... This thing is toasted. Well, shit. Sports mediums can't last two laps around the Nürburgring. Noted. No, they're not mediums, they're softs. But whatever. Almost a minute behind the Jag. Yeah, that was pretty bad. But the Lotus was even worse. So, uh, with that being all done now. Fifth place once again. 1,500 credits. But... Hey, we still want the championship, so we get our championship prize of 45,000 credits. And now, like always, our prize car. All right, now after an hour and 15 minutes of recording this. Okay. All right, I will fucking take it. Yes. Hell yes. I was not expecting this whatsoever. I was expecting some kind of classic collector car thing, but... Fuck yeah. We get the Jag XJ220 race car. Fuck yeah. How much is this for, to sell? 318? Meh. Meh. Well, uh, I know what car I'm going to use to win the rest of those races. With... Sports tires, of course, but yep. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, next up, we'll do the next event, which is a British GT series. I don't know uh, what this requires as far as, like, the competition goes, but UK cars only and shit, blah, blah. So, yeah, stay tuned for more GT4.